it's Lisa Lovely. Thank you for joining me today. Um, it feels like a Monday morning, but it's not. The house looks like a Monday morning. I'm glad that it's kind of blurred out so you don't see how crazy it looks. I'm gonna make you mine. There's something special about your love. I think it's one of a kind. I'm setting up because I'm gonna have a meeting right now, um, a virtual meeting. So um, yeah, I don't want to talk about it yet because um, it's not a secret, but you know, um, one of our business ventures, um, Anon, um, is expanding, um, is doing different things. <laughs> um, we're kind of just um, changing things around a little. So I'm having a meeting right now, literally in four minutes. So I'm gonna sit down and get ready for it. But again, um, welcome to um, our channel. I'm Lisa Lovely. If you've never caught us before, uh, if this is your first time and you like what's happening, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification because we do this very often. Um, you'll be seeing a bunch of videos, the rewind videos, um, and some of them are dated back till um, 2020. Um, because, you know, like I said earlier, um, I said in a previous video, we've um, been vlogging for a while but just not being consistent with it um, and kind of choppy like no intros no outros just kind of doing life um, but I still wanted to share some of this stuff especially some of the stuff when Kellen was like just born uh, so you'll be seeing a lot of that um, on the channel so sit back relax um, I'll catch you in a couple of minutes I kind of just washed my hair slicked it back with some eco styler gel so it's dripping a little this is not a wash and go, um, but uh, yeah, I'll catch you in a couple minutes. I just finished with a Zoom call. Um, mama's out there. How do you do your Zoom calls when you got Buddy over here? I literally set him up with some food. I um, put on his like his little show. He yeah. has his like letters, um, so he can you know like uh, practice with his letters. He was not interested. He was like, "Oh, you're talking to somebody on on the screen. Let me come and sit in your lap." But he was pretty good the majority of the meeting, but. When he was ready for like some mommy attention, he was all in my face like this. And then wants to like kiss me and like look into my eyes. So it was a little distracting, but working moms, I'm sure you understand. Okay guys, family time in the backyard. Dan's gonna do something. What are you gonna do right now? All right, so I am going to face my fear. And I know it sounds dramatic to say that, but <laughs> I'll explain to you why it's a fear. Why are you so fear? Yeah, please, um, why? Face my fear and grill for the first time. Like, no one here to save me. No grill master, brethren, or no one is going to be able to come and save me from this. Another challenge that I'm going to have is these two stakes. Yeah, one is super thick. Are thicker than and the then, other, yeah. so I'm going to have to really watch them. Mm -hmm. They're also not traditional cuts of steak, so... Mm -hmm. That almost might skew my uh, thing there, but it's like you can't really win because mm -hmm. I didn't want to use a really excellent cut of steak that I really knew was good as my first, first go. So we're going to see how well I'll do with this. Now, why is this a fear? All right. So I equate dun, dun. grill skills to, uh, well, I don't know how about like younger people, but like my generation's version of um manual driving a manual like driving stick right and it's one of those things that like is like tied weirdly to your like masculinity like like people will kind of like chuckle like older generation will kind of chuckle like you don't know to drive stick <laughs> especially in like jamaican culture but the funny thing is you would tell somebody that and they'd be like, what? You don't know to drive stick? But nobody's trying but to teach you. But then nobody's trying to teach you. They're yeah. like, I don't want to shut my gearbox and trying to teach you how to drive stick. So you just end up developing, never learning how to drive stick. And then obviously there's ways around it. Well, grilling is the same thing for me. Because I am, I'm not a grill master by any means, but I've done grilling, right? He is choosing to do grilling on with a steak. Like that's something that's like... Um, like ballsy, okay. Um, steak on a grill is not the easiest thing. Um, like it's just not chicken. <laughs> like regular people just do chicken or like a burger. Um, he's choosing to do like a full-on steak. So um, I have all the confidence in it that he can do it because he's great with steaks. First first. But um, 
You know. Let's see. Let's Watch see. Watch my meat. So this is what we do on Thursdays. <laughs> we barbecue. Um, this could definitely be a tradition. But me personally, I do a little bit of garlic powder. Um, a lot of people are gonna go fresh garlic rub. Yes, I agree. But garlic powder, onion powder. Um, Lisa recently bought this like rub that's actually meant for. Um, What's that one? Let's see that one. Brisket rub. So Four Rivers is a barbecue place in Orlando. We're not um, okay. First and foremost, we're not chefs. We don't play to be chefs. Yeah, by um, far. We just we still learn. And okay? you also have to go off of. Ultimately, you'll watch a lot of people tell you this is how this is done, and in reality, how it's done is the best you like it. There's gonna be some people that they hate garlic, Ooh. they hate this, or they love that, and you're gonna go heavier on those seasonings. Try it. Get out there, experiment. Um, but. I've had this, I've served it. Lisa really likes it. Um, <laughs> Kellen, who is very picky. He loves daddy yeah. steak, right? You love daddy steak? Please feel free to comment below and be like, no, you gotta get your grill up to 500. What are you doing? You're gonna ruin your steak. I'm still waiting. I am not comfortable with that number, but like I said, this is pretty experimental. How long are you gonna cook the meat for? I don't know. I'm going to go for um, the feel of the meat and the sear that I get on the outside. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of moving parts in this. Yeah. He's going to lock me out. This is why I tell Lisa, always have your key on you. So, getting a little bit above that now. The steaks have been out. So I went with olive oil on the actual steak itself. It's a high heat um, thing. Um, usually when I'm in, even in my cast iron, I'll use olive oil. I love the flavor of that. But issue with that at this point is I'm, I am predicting um, or anticipating a higher heat than what I get in the cast iron cooking. So, I went with olive oil on it. Um, olive oil doesn't really add anything flavor wise, but it's known as a high heat um, oil. I also have some melted butter that I'm going to add. And then I'm going to use the minced organic um, garlic on top of it when I'm ready to baste it with the oil. Um, with the butter, sorry. And that, that's how I'm going to finish the steaks. So, again, wish me luck. Again, this is trying something new, first time um, stuff. And like, again, like I said, it's, it's facing the fear of, you know, not grilling. And like I told you, it's one of those things that has always been kind of equated to like my generation's like masculinity is like, yo, your grill skills and yo, how you shave and can you drive a steak and those little like silly traditional things that you but there's a silly things that you don't want to admit um i leave stick or manual driving for another day probably locked out right probably now. locked out he locked us out I am the master on. chef is putting on the steaks yeah Locked us out. oh my gosh it smells so good Big boy. Should have put the big boy in the back, but yeah. It's all right. It's all right. All right. Down. Okay, so we're gonna do what? Five minutes on that? On the high heat, then slow and low, ish, on the other burners over here. So, after my. I get my first sear I'll kind of have more of an idea of how it's cooking um, and I'll flip it try to produce that side I'm going to base it with the butter and the garlic uh, which I don't really have the right tools to do that out here either but hey we'll figure it out um, and put it on one of the lower burners hopefully I, do, I still can get a pretty pattern on my 
sticks. But it's gonna be in the comment section. You have it up way too high. And you are probably right. But we're gonna see what happens. Ooh, did you show that? Yeah, this one, that at least one? this side looks really good. Yeah, you flipped this one already? Yeah. How come that one didn't get that stair? I don't know. I feel flipped. like the heat back there is different. Um, so, yeah, just push on back. This one looks beautiful, guys. And smells great. So, I'm gonna take this one. <laughs> Baby has that disappointed face but it looks yeah, good yeah i mean you can see my grill marks yeah. came out well there but like here this like, one you can't really still... see the grill marks i don't think well yeah in the camera you can but um but this that is definitely one, still yeah but that is a thicker one so, let's see. so yeah now he's basting it with the butter um and um garlic um we used to have clarified butter So one of the steaks looks like it's coming out pretty well. Other one isn't really exactly going to plan so far. I'm gonna see if we can kind of figure out what we can do about that. Um, I'm at all times watching my grill temperature, which has dropped significantly now. I'm eating the first, um, the smaller steak. Uh, this is the color. It is so good. Um, again, it's not the most tender steak I've had because it's the cut of meat, but no, it's so good. Here, do you want a beer? Uh, yeah. Alright, so, be honest, what do you think? Sorry. Alright, for me, all the flavor elements are there. Great. Um, this isn't exactly um, a traditional steak, so I don't know the texture. It's hard to say how much of it is me and my amateur grilling it's the, versus the texture of the meat. It's the type of steak. Um, but Dan's done this steak already on the cast iron, like a uh, like frying pan amazing um but again that time i did it in the instapot and softened it because i hate like roast amazing like smells amazing um the little piece that i just had tastes amazing i'm a little concerned about the bigger one just because like i said i don't really like roast and like big chunks of meat like that um the only time oh. i had like a big chunk of meat was the tomahawk on the princess cruise um that oh. one was amazing too I do want to interject also, uh, I don't know if Lisa disclosed this with you, but we're not like well done steak people. Yeah, um, I showed them the... Um... Lisa likes, I would say medium, mm -hmm. um, not medium rare, but like medium. I was more of closer he used to, to... like his steak burnt, okay? Like, like burnt, like no pink. And then he had a really good steak. However well it actually is going to be, we will never really know. But I am pretty confident in how that looks. Okay, so this is the this final product. This was the one, the one big steak. I cut a piece here, this is what I'm gonna eat. And then Dan can pick out of these two. I just wanted you to see the beautiful color of the steak. This is how we like our steak. Um, Again, it looks it looks great. I just hope it matches that. It has some fatty pieces to it. These are all the juices that came out of it because we let it rest. Really excited. Are you excited? Yep. So, question: What happened to the T-bone steak? I know that's a good. I think that's ribeye. Is to that? be honest, I think it is. Do we have and any cattle people out what there? What was the one that had the... Uh, they still have that. What was that called? Though? I don't know. I, I don't, don't know. know. I just remember T-Bone was a thing and then that just, I just, that just went away. I don't know if secretly this is some kind of like, oh, it's offensive or something. I don't know. I'm not trying to be one of those people, but I know that like, Why they will just... Why are you not supposed to eat 
What? Tommy Chin said that the other day. She was like, yeah, I don't, I don't really eat pirate fish. So, so because she don't eat pirate fish, no. that means you're not supposed no, to eat no, pirate no. fish? She said it as in like there's a reason why. So I googled it and like pirate fish are like important to like the coral system. So I'm thinking maybe that's why. I, I, it's like, I kind of want to like, yo, let me call her up and, and find out, but I don't know her. But if anybody eats Yo, I'm telling you, you know, this is how you know when you're a fan. You know? Lisa don't hear the woman say, you shouldn't eat it, you know, she just hear the woman say, I don't eat it. No, she said it like, I know you're not supposed to eat it. That's what she said. So it's okay. not like, like, is it tilapia? Where yeah, so, but that's how you know a super fan. Super, like super Mitchell fan. I didn't say groupie, I said super fan. I'm a first cousin. Anyway. Alright, so this is creamed cream spinach with mushroom. I so yeah, Lisa go pick out the biggest piece of steak. Yo, 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 yo. For me? Rude. Don't be looking at my plate. I'll tell Lisa where she come from. I'll tell Oh yeah, let's edit that out. Please, let's edit that out. So yeah, dinner was amazing. Um, cause you made it. Um, I made a side. So yeah, but it was good teamwork. Um, from family effort. So yeah, again, I made the spinach mushroom creamed, uh, creamed spinach with mushrooms. Dan made the uh, beautiful steak. Um, yeah. And we have leftovers, so that's always amazing when you can have another meal <laughs> out of something that's good. So we're cleaning up now. Um, so the night um, is here. We're gonna start the bedtime the routine. Guys, uh, listen, all you morning shift people, salute. <laughs> it's yeah. yo. It's rough. It's diff it, For us, you know, I've done what thirteen years of um, night shift um, nursing, so I'm used to it. Dan's done what three years now? Four years? Uh, three years? Two, two something. No, it's more than that. No, because I would have been... 2018, baby. Yeah, but I was day shift for six months. Um, at roughly Yeah. three, four years he's been doing night shifts. So it's rough when you're like kind of... We understand the concept of like, you know, day shift and orientation and stuff like that. But I'm ready for him to go back to night shift. Um, but that's it. You know, thank you guys for joining us today. That was our our Thursday. And again, this is the Friday for you guys. So I hope you had an amazing week. I hope you have an amazing weekend. Yeah. We will update you um pretty soon. I'm gonna I drank some wine, so I'm gonna sit down and edit some videos and you get to see this today. Yeah. Do what you can do with the time that you're given. Mm -hmm. um don't be you know try not to annoy yourself with what you didn't get done yeah um so okay. but also just do what's gonna keep, keep your mind peaceful what is our 2022 goal it is protect your peace um this is like i said this is something that um this uh, battle rapper that dan watches um, or follows um, has been saying and and I'm Shout like out to gyms gyms yeah, okay gyms is, that's his thing. that is something um, that is when he told when he when he said it to, to me to me I was like that is profound you know like gyms I don't know like I'm sure you understand like the depth of that but it really is like every day you should kind of live to like protect your peace if there's something that's like not worth the battle it's not worth the stress protect your peace um that's what you know we hope that you did this week and we hope that you will do next week. Um, so just remember that, you know, protect your peace because it's important. That's what takes care of your mind, body, and soul is that peace. But again, let's wrap up. Um, it was amazing. It was amazing that you guys could join us on this um, on this day. Yeah. And happy weekend. So the debate now for another time is Will Lisa last until I get back on night shift where we can watch shows together? Because I saw the frustration. Trust on me, face, trust me. I'm gonna finish like, this yo, show. I, go. I got two more episodes on this. It's three episodes right now. He only you can see? handle one. Can't I'm handle. about to watch two more tonight, and then he can't catch up later. Cause I'm used to like binge watching my shows. Sorry. Uh, but again, thank you guys for joining us. 
If you haven't done already, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification because we do this often. Um, you'll be seeing videos from us. Like, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm a child busted. You're going to be like, damn, they went from like nothing to three times a week. All right. So I have high hopes. <laughs> All right. Continue to stay consistent. That is my goal and protect your peace. That is my next goal. Um, so thank you guys for all the love and support. Bye. See you soon. Love, I think it's one of a kind. There's something special about your love. I want it all the time.